Hello, and welcome to another video, and Happy New Year! We survived 2020, and this is 2021, we just pray that this year will be a lot better than what we experienced in the year 2020. Okay, um, in case you made a resolution to help someone this new year just be nice to people, I can recommend someone to be nice to you and someone to help. And it doesn't cost you any money, or even time. Well, it costs you some time. Just maybe two seconds, hit the notification bell, that helps me. Give this video a like, that's a great help. Because YouTube is going to recommend this video to a lot more people who might need it. So you will be helping me and helping them and helping the human race. Okay, let's get into the question. So this is an exponential equation, which simply means that the variable, which we always use x to represent, is the exponent. Okay, so um, when you're given an exponential equation and you're not expected to use logarithms to solve it, it means the, the base of all of the terms can be expressed as 2 or 3 or 4 or whatever you can see. For example, I see that this is a prime number, okay, which means you can't simplify this further. So, further. so you want to look at this and see if you can express it in terms of 2. Look at this and see if you can express it in terms of 2, okay, as an exponent. If you can write them as powers of 2, then you have solved the equation. Okay, how can we write 32 as a power of 2? It's obvious that 2 to the 5th, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, you do that 5 times. That's what you're going to get. So what about this? Well, we know that 4 is a power of 2, which is 1 over 2 squared. Okay, so I'm going to start from there and we rewrite it. So we have 1 over 2 squared raised to 2x multiplied by 2 raised to 6x is equal to 2 to the 5th. Okay, now with this expression here, we now see that there's 2 here, 2 here, 2 here. We just need to rewrite this so it is sitting on the ground and it is not... Um, there's no burden of 1 on top of it. Now remember that 1 over 2 squared is the same thing as 2 to the negative 2. That's what happens when you do this. So we're going to rewrite this as 2 to the negative 2, that law of exponent. Remember, a negative exponent means you're dividing. So it's repeated dividing. That's why you have this. So we're going to rewrite this as 2 to the negative 2 raised to 2x multiplied by 2 to the 6x, which is 2 to the 5th. And we're done because now you apply that law of exponent that says when an exponent is raised to another power, when a power is raised to a power, you just multiply the powers. So we're going to multiply the powers here. You see, I'm still keeping everything the same. So if I multiply this power, it's going to be negative 2 times 2x. It's going to be negative 4x. So what I have is 2 to the negative 4x multiplied by 2 to the 6x equals 2 to the 5th. Okay. So at this stage, everything is expressed in base 2. You can see the base is clearly 2. Then we can take care of these two sides. The law of exponent that says when you multiply two terms with the same base, then you can add the exponent. So let's add negative 4x to 6x. So what we're going to have is 2 to the negative 4x plus 6x equals 2 to the fifth. So when we add negative 4x to 6x, it's going to be 2x. So we can continue here and say... 2 to the 2x is equal to 2 to the 5. And now, because the bases are the same, the exponents 2 must be the same. So we say 2x is equal to 5. Okay? Some people introduce um, log base 2. Just It doesn't matter. Once you can see this, you know that the two exponents are equivalent. And now we know that x is equal to 5 over 2. This is an acceptable answer in algebra. You don't need to rewrite the answer as a mixed fraction. But if you want to write it as a mixed fraction or in decimal, that's it. Well, this is my answer, and I would rather leave my answer this way. That's exact. Hope you learned something. Give this video a like. Make sure you're subscribed. It's a great deal of help to this channel and to me personally. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, don't stop learning, because those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.